Alrighty, let's check this time. I hope that it is working now better than before because this is my second attempt to start the live stream and it seems like it's better. So just in case uh, you are here, please let me know if you can hear and see me well. That would be really helpful for me to know. I will check myself on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, it's better to know if um, I'm actually live. Sometimes the connection is off and yet people can't really see everything and it would be such a pity because I have so many perfume boxes here that I really want to open them with you together on camera. Okay, it seems to be working, but I have an old thumbnail. So let me just quickly change it because that's not really what we are going to open today. We have something else and also many more boxes. So yeah, I'm here to actually know how are you guys? How has it been for you? Um, it's spring. Well, at least it should be spring. Still pretty cold in Germany and um, I'm hoping that the weather will change for you know, best. Um, let me know if you are here, guys, because for now I just think I'm talking to myself. And um, yeah, that wouldn't be so cool. Um, how many uh, boxes do we have here? Can you actually see them? I'm not quite sure if I'm covering them with me, with my body, although I'm not that blind, but still. Um, and if you are here, please give the video a thumbs up. Okay, thumbs it up. So. It will be suggested to other people to you know my subscribers so they are aware that I'm here that I'm streaming that would be really cool because you know I I'm here with my monthly live stream would be really nice to have a chat with you guys about what's new what are you doing which fragrances are you enjoying at the moment of course if you have any questions to me feel free to you know just drop them in the comment section and checking it it's right there and seeing everything so just say hi give the video a thumbs up so it will be suggested to others and yeah we have one two three four five six packages here so it should be fun i really love opening perfume boxes you know it's always so exciting to receive a fragrance and just you know Check it out, even if you know what's inside, I feel it's still, you know, such a special moment receiving a perfume, opening it and spraying it for the first time. So Holly says that her scent of the day is Lost at Town Herbani. And I believe it's an herbal fragrance, right? Like this brand is known for very natural fragrances. I'm doing this because, you know, what smells natural, what is marketed as natural, and what is actually natural are very different things. So yeah, <laughs> but that's another story. Their fragrances are just very, you know, like herbaceous, floral, very gentle. So I believe that's an herbal one, but I'm not quite sure because I haven't experienced like that many of their perfumes, although I'm lying here. They are available at the you know, department store and once I've just gone through the entire collection it was there but anyway anyway you probably smell very springy and green uh, thomas says hi hello thank you so much for joining me and shruti i'm so sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name guys but it's exciting to hear from you so everyone who has just joined hello welcome to the unboxing we are going to be starting really soon but first um i really want to thank you for the compliment on my necklace yes i got it in milano and I really enjoyed. My mom has uh, a very similar um, but different color. Anyway, anyway, guys, uh, let me know if you have received any perfume recently. What's the newest perfume in your collection? I've been really wanting to open this fragrance, guys, but I I've saved all these boxes. Like I've received a couple of them, um, you know, some time ago. There is one that came today. It's on the bottom so we'll get into it but um, this perfume from Matt Malik I received like maybe a month ago or something and I cannot wait to check it out because I think it's gonna be phenomenal 
So this is the box and I believe it is handmade. So just in case you love, um, you know, high quality and you really like artistic approach, I feel like this is the brand you need to check out because Matt Malik is an indie perfumer from Canada who is very passionate about vintage perfumery. First of all, he has studied lots of different formulas and I like that he's experimenting with different materials, adding always something a little bit newer to like, you know, uh, classy way creating perfume. So he is self-taught and very talented. I have a lot of uh, favorites uh, in which um, in which I highly recommend you invest. Um, and uh, if you need more inspiration or you have questions, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'm just trying to open it and it's going to be a struggle uh, throughout the video. But I would like to hear from you guys. Hello, you have any questions? Are you so, you're so quiet. It's so sweet. But you know, I, I'm a chatty person and I love chatting. Is there anyone who who is watching from work? Um, so Holly says the almond luxury discovery kit will be the newest with the mail. Wow. Okay. So you're about to receive some, I believe it's um, an Arabic brand, if I'm not wrong. Actually, I don't um, know it. So I'm just guessing here. Um, Trudy says, haven't put my scent of the day yet as still finalizing my evening outfit. Ooh, you have something exciting planned. I'm going to Michelin star restaurant. Oh my God, for the first time in my pair for dinner tonight. I'm so jealous, but in a nice way. Actually, thanks God I'm not hungry because I just had like a homemade, self-made um, cheese broccoli soup, cream soup. So if I read your comment without having that, oh my goodness. But have fun. You definitely need to wear a fancy fragrance to such an event. And uh, yes, enjoy. I would love to know what, what did you have. I've never been to one myself, so it sounds amazing. Karina says, Frangipani from label. Nice. Like Frangipani is such a sunny flower. Although it's very challenging for me in perfumes, I really like it. Although I never smell the real flowers, so I'm not quite sure how it smells in life. But in fragrance, it's like I'm attracted to it, but I've smelled a lot of perfumes with it that I don't like. But I'm not quite sure how's yours, so let me know. I'm guessing by the emoji that it's sunny. And we are going to dive into this one by Malik Perfume. So, yeah, wooden box. Um, when you open it, let me show you. I really want to show you the process. So it's like we are opening it together for real, which we are, right? So this is like his business card that says that he's a self perfumer with a small labo uh, laboratory, I'm sorry, um, and everything is made by hand, so he uses um, overdose of naturals in his formulas, uh, and that's for everything is complex and um, very high quality. So that's amazing. I really like this material, okay, that the fragrance is wrapped into, and uh, like wow wow okay so scent is a language says on the bottle I'm not quite sure about the name and why didn't he put it on the bottle but I guess it's um, Midnight Datura so let's just go on his official website real quick and uh, yeah check it so this is the bottle it is just fine you know nothing too crazy simple lovely and um, i want to first smell it and then we are gonna check the notes and that stuff oh my goodness it's like okay oh my god i had a sample of um like a very nice swedish uh fragrance that just reminds me of these, you know, like, um, I would say glossy magazine pages. There is one fragrance in my collection and hold on, I will, um, get it because like any time I smell this Elenia Langen Gold by a Mikalev, which is quite popular. In fact, I always think about glossy magazine pages and 
I don't know why. Is there like a note or a material that is giving me that vibe or maybe this is just the finish or the texture of the fragrance. So um, I've always smelled like almost that memory from my childhood, you know, just going through the, um, I don't know, glamour magazine of my mom and, um, or it, or like, I don't know, even before that was around, like she had some magazine flavor, like really like big, not the small one, like, you know, typical format, the bigger, and there were perfume samples and you need to rub on it. And as you're rubbing and the fragrance evaporates, I don't know, it was just very special feeling. And probably I'm just like very crazy right now, but let me know if you have our experience that in perfume. And you know what I'm talking about, you know, testing fragrances <laughs> in the magazine. So uh, yeah, I just really like that. And I smell that in here. Oh my God, I have some comments, so I need to chat. Um, I may go to uh, Solid Passion if you wear a floral vest. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and Mikola, crazy that we are talking about it. But you need something a little bit more beast mode, I feel, than that one. Uh, fabulous packaging, cute and uh, reusable. Exactly. Hello, Donny. How are you? So we are testing the new Midnight Datura by Matt Malik. Fantastic perfumer from Canada, um, as you are. And I just really want to read the description of this fragrance, guys, if you don't mind. So it says uh, that uh, it has been early morning, not yet light, as I walk towards the temples for the labyrinths and ancient moss gardens of Saihoji Garden. The ground felt like a plush carpet, and the moon cast long shadows on the path before me. The tea water stream. A soothing melody reached my ears when I was greeted by Datura. Massive, sickening, sweet, bow-shaped, moon-worshipping flower. Past the Datura, past moss-covered trees and wet stones. The monks were burning fresh in a vigorating morning incense. Ginger, sandalwood, cloth and agarwood. It was warm and inviting and I knew the temple was near. The scent of the Datura flower and the temple incense combine to create an experience I will never forget. Datura is an attempt at creating my love for Japanese ginger incense and temple gardens. Datura is a sandalwood century perfume made with 80% natural essential oils. She begins with a bright ginger, bergamot and frankincense accord with woody pepper nuances allowing for a smooth transition to Datura's incense heart. The Tura Central Accord is primarily cedar wood and a tincture of dark, musky, sweet ambergris, but also includes a rose and a variety of natural spices. Natural sandalwood compromises the most significant preparation of the Tura's formula, so she lasts a very long time. I have also included natural Vietnamese agarwood oils, crafting a battery warm woody undertones that lingers on skin all day. So I really like how Matt, and that was his description of um, the newest fragrance, uh, talks about this perfume. Actually, what I'm doing now is messaging him on Instagram. Maybe he can join. That would be actually really nice. But probably it's late or not, um, Donny, in Canada now. So um, come on live. We are talking about your datura. So if we are lucky, Matt will join us and that would be a really fun, I think, for all of us to, you know, hear about it from him. But, oh my God, it's probably in the top three from Matt for me now because it's very sweet, yet it is not sickening sweet as maybe the flower is. It is very creamy, that's what I wanted to point out, like this beautiful, glossy, creamy texture is amazing. The fact that he put so much sandalwood in here is just phenomenal because I know how, how, how high quality it is and obviously it adds a lot to the texture. It is very strong. I would say it is sweet but not gourmand, um, candy type of fragrance. So it is phenomenal. I'm obsessed. I would say like this is definitely in top three of my Matt Malak favorites because it is like a sweet floral fragrance 
and like not necessarily any molly but with this very sultry feeling so i would definitely wear it on a special occasion or i don't know it's just so phenomenal and just creative and unique and i'm i'm in love you will definitely hear me talking about it more soon guys have you ever heard about matte mallet from canada please let me know because it's one of the brands i highly recommend you to look into and keep on your mind that i have um you know videos um and reviews on his perfume so just in case you need more information please check them out and uh, yeah so if there are no questions left we can just move on into the next package and this is still um and you know closed but semi unboxed um fragrance from the newest collection well the newest brand better to say designed by paul and tatiana Terenzi. oh um Donny says ginger a great composition to fragrance oh indeed and actually being like a spicy um, and maybe even smoky fragrance because uh, of the notes i can't really see like it being like categorized as like you know um spicy or burning in fact because he was inspired by a very particular type of incense i can really notice that in the fragrance because it's unlike anything else i've tried and i love the full-bodied very sultry hypnotizing definitely opulent um datura note in here which is not very common in perfumery to be honest so this is something very special in fact so yeah uh, ginger maybe just giving it like more of i don't know just special vibe loving it matt has killed it once again i i'm fascinated by how how beautifully he can work with different materials creating different style of fragrances he has a fantastic boozy perfume there is a very nice um another like incense but not like in yeah like mushin it's to die for it's like one of the best perfumes i've ever smelled oh and there are so many more anyway um with that being said if you have questions or whatever just go ahead drop a comment uh, but we are gonna dive right into this um brand that is called dot uh if i'm not wrong dot on um and uh, this is a new brand designed by paul and tiziana Terenzi. when i was in milan i attended their party where they were talking about it and apparently it took them um many many years to finally you know put it out um on the market so i'm really excited to open it uh, because you know Paul and Tiziana Terenzi and i hope you are here for you know all the noises ASMR so just let's let's enjoy it Okay, probably my studio is going to be a mess after this unboxing and it is not even that tied up yet. So, um, yeah, we shall see. I really like uh, these dots, you know, the packaging is as um, as usually on point. I just don't want to drop it because I am a master at that, but I still want to show you how it looks. Oh, wow. So this is a really nice bottle. A little bit similar to um, Tiana Terenzi, yet different, because it is round. Yeah, with uh, the same cap. Oh my goodness, how do I get it out of the box? Okay, I don't like when they are so hard to get out. So yeah, it's a really nice box, in case you are into beautiful presentation. That's it. And this is the bottle, definitely Terenzi vibe, right? Like with the cap, it's round and you get like all these details. Yeah, so here is how it looks. Very nice. And the name is uh, kind of on the bottom, if I'm not wrong. So it's definitely um, an interesting way. So it's fun, like how the fragrances are called. This is 6 plus 2. I'm not that good in math, but yeah, um, that I can deal with. Um, 
Anyway, guys, um, hello everyone who's just joined. We are unboxing um, new fragrances. I'm really excited to see you. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you've just joined so it will be shown to other people. Definitely drop a comment, say hello. What are you wearing today? How's it going? Where are you watching from? Maybe you're at work, maybe you're already enjoying your weekend. Please let me know, I just love hearing from you. And right now we are going into the new you fragrance by Pound to Sense Rancy called 6 plus 2. So yeah, let's, oh wow, okay, this I've never seen before. Okay, so yeah, on the bottom it looks exactly the same as, um, you know, on top, so this is a very nice cap. That's um, something different than uh, Terence range. Also, it is uh, a little bit not as uh, high, and I like it more. Like, I like it better than the Terence caps, which are also very beautiful, but they're so heavy. And while this is still heavy, it's not, like, too much. I don't know if you know what I mean, but anyway. Hi, Razik. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your names, but I'm excited to hear from you. Thank you for joining me today. And yes, um, this is what we are spraying right now. Oops. Oh, I haven't smelled fragrance like this in a long time. They used to be popular like two, three, no, maybe even four years ago. Yeah, like 19. When? Those intense, woody, incensely dirt perfumes were in. Can someone tell me? Donny, anyone else? Like, it smells woody for sure. It smells a little burnt. It smells like you are somewhere middle, like got lost in the middle of the forest after the rain. So, you know, you have the soil, the woods, and other stuff that grows there under your feet. Yeah, it smells dirty. I kind of like it, but it is powerful like it's intense oh my god it's a little bit much so i would not wear it on a lighter day i would wear it in the evening or when i'm in the mood for something very powerful like oh my god late 70s no no i mean like niche perfumes with powerful incense woodsiness you know yeah okay and i like that there is something delicious and chewing there so now i just want to check the notes it reminded me a lot of, uh, oh my god, what was the fragrance? Um, I'm just looking at it, uh, Behik by um, Renier. Like, I called it the darkest perfume in my collection. Yeah, it smells del delicious, actually. It smells like you finally got out of the dark forest and then, you know, just hit right to the, to the bonfire and you burn some caramel there or, you know, maybe sugar because there is something very chewy in there. So let's check the notes on it. And it says there is cedar wood, there is vativa. Oh, that's the dirty part I was getting for sure. Nergamosa, another very like oudish, dirty material. So there is also oud, musk, amigurine. So yeah, it is quite animalic. Of hope and with incense and myrrh for the, uh, you know, like burnt this incense vibe. And there's sandalwood with caramel. Actually quite interesting. The additional caramel, like this chewy, Texture makes it uh, quite quite interesting. Uh, so yeah, it reminds me a lot of like other um, burning woody perfumes. Quite nice, quite nice. I actually want to check out more perfumes from this brand. I believe they have like uh, a powdery one, and I really want to smell and um, have that. It's called 5 plus 3, and it's so interesting that this is 6 plus 2, and it's actually on the sprayer, so it's it's phenomenal. I really like that. So let me know if you've already heard about uh, this brand. It's Dotto by Pounded and Trancy. Hello, Slavic. How are you, Slavic girl? Sorry, what's your name? <laughs> How can I call you? Or can I call you that? Uh, thank you for joining me. What are you wearing, guys? How's your day so far? Where, where are you where are you watching from because I believe in the states it's still like morning or something and yeah in in Europe it's it's um yeah like late afternoon and I'm wondering if there are people from Asia that would be nice to know too uh, what's the name of the fragrance again so it's six plus two that's the name and the brand is Dotto. so I definitely need more space here in my studio oh my goodness guys like it's crazy how I'm running out of space. I need to put some shelves up here, but there are like um, 
you know, things in the wall so I can't really destroy it. Otherwise, the whole house will be like without um, electricity. Maria, okay, from Macedonia. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. Sending lots of love to Macedonia. Um, don't mispronounce it. Watching from Malaysia, currently celebrating Edinburgh. Happy holidays to you. Happy um, eight or eight. Ah, I'm the mess. I'm so sorry, but I hope you are having um, a blessing. Uh, Dior addict. What if you're fun, Miss Melanie? For sure. Uh, you are the best smelling person. But um, do you have some really cool like local brands in Malaysia? Like maybe something more like I don't know how, which fragrances do you have there? Like more Western type or like Middle Eastern or Asian? Let me know. But yeah, now we are getting into like the heavy part of this video because you guys like we need to open these packages and you know how don't I like that? I find that's exciting, but like oh you guys, it's always such a hustle to get inside these boxes without you know like. Oh, ruining my nails. Okay, so I have some some perfumes in here because they're like blah, 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 you know. So let's try to find the <laughs> guys. Chat, chat together. Entertain yourself, please. Ask me questions. That's uh, what these live streams are for. Okay, so I found the place where I can open it. Hopefully, without myself and it work which is nice i like when the box is oh this is actually really beautiful i won't show you guys because like i mean like nothing special but it was like one move okay two moves because yeah sometimes it's a mess okay so talking about datura it's actually a coincidence not on purpose so here are two perfumes I will be talking about and you guys uh, I'm not doing it on purpose but actually that's definitely coincidence another Datura perfume let's compare them shall we because Datura is like such a special flower it's not like something typical at all I still want to know if you've ever smelled anything with Datura because I don't have much experience with it it's something definitely more rare and um, just, you know, special. So this one is by the brand uh, Mathieu uh, Libre from the collection, I mean. The brand is Panache. And I really like their um, new collection um, that we are going to dive right into. Because it was created by very talented young perfumers. And this is work of Patrice Ravillon. I really like him as a perfumer. I was uh, finally pleased to meet him at the songs. And of course, I expressed my, you know, just like um, fascination by his work. He's so young and talented. And the first time I experienced his fragrance, it was when the Maison Violet released Cycle 001, which is uh, you know, out of production now, it was a limited edition, so special. And that was the time when I actually experienced Patrice's work and then I got into it. And when I smelled this collection and this particular fragrance, um, it comes in a box like this. Really like how easily it opens. There is no need to pull it out. You know, sometimes boxes are very challenging to open. And here we actually have the image of the tour. Wanna see? with some biscuits that's kind of sweet so this is the datura and as matt explained in his description it looks like a bell so that's the shape of the flower this is the box um, and the bottle which is huge and very heavy so this is high quality glass for sure so um let me know if you've ever smelled this collection go ahead don't shy away from commenting the comments the likes uh, they really yeah push this live stream which i would really appreciate because you know like although it's a hobby i've been doing it for years and it would be really nice if my community supported me in the way um you can like maybe with your comments likes uh subscription 
<laughs> thank you so much for your thoughts and of course you are invited feel free to donate and buy me coffee website because um what a nice oh my god what a nice oh, i forgot how beautiful it is oh my god this is the fragrance i re like really want to just spray in my mouth oh no like this is too beautiful like this is too beautiful but i was telling you that you can support me and like any donation like i feel there, there should be like an ethic of watching youtube especially creators that you support like it would be amazing if you could, could donate really guys not only because i i could like buy perfumes obviously because you know that this stuff is so expensive but also because i could pay my bills you know like and just keep my channel on, on, on the level and investing and just be, be, be uh, better every day um, and just, you know, growing with you. So uh, feel free to go and buy me coffee website. Actually, it's very easy to donate over there. Um, and I plan to film more um, special content for my, uh, cre um, you know, like uh, supporters. So if this is something interesting, um, and you want like that exclusive content feel free to check it out um, and you can buy um, you know like um, donate and buy me coffee website that would be amazing guys so I've just pinned the link but let's get back to the Tramoretti so this is like very different from Matt's perfumes and although they are so beautiful so different at the same time so this one has like this nice opulence dude for sure like the florals in here it's bold it's definitely that special occasion type of perfume it smells bougie it is fancy but at the same time so elegant it's not too heavy it's nothing that would be challenging and there is like this absolutely addictive sweetness in there that i remember i loved so much and now once again i get like the juicy part of cherry it's not your tom ford gloss cherry it's not your um, like sweet and sticky type of cherry it's the cherry juice that we have here and also biscuits add to like this um nice texture it's light but it is hitting on the gourmand being fresh at the same time with the opulence of floral sea oh my god like such a fantastic perfume i i i, I can't so highly recommend everyone to give it a try there are three more fragrances in the line that are great too and it's just like a question of time when I get them. Actually, I have one. And do you want to see it? I will ask, uh, answer some questions. Just let me know if you want to see another perfume that I already have in my collection from this collection. So Donny asks um, if I heard about Cycle 002 and when it is coming out. Okay, I've heard of it and I smelled it. But I don't know when it is coming out. Anytime they're ready. You know, guys from Yole, they are very um, nice and they are working, I believe, with Patrice for it one more time, which I appreciate because he has done fantastic uh, work on the previous edition. So it would be just smart to collaborate with him once again. And um, yeah, it, 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 it is very nice, but it is not finalized yet. So stay tuned. And keep on your mind, guys, that I have a discount for you, so feel free to use them anytime you shop perfumes. Be smart and, yeah, just use them. Anyway, um, can you please tell me the difference between Rose's Mask and Intense Rose's Mask? Of course I can. So, um, Rose's Mask is like this very rosy mask fragrance so you need to think about white oriental musk it is very sensual it smells clean um a little bit sharp but in a nice way so it's bold and powerful and there is like this rosiness in there okay it's a very powerful a little bit swedish a little bit uh floral full-bodied rose scent and it became a bestseller for Montal. So they released an intense version of it. Intense version is a little bit more long lasting. I feel like it's also heavier, so it's not as, how should I say, uh, it is still diffusive and projects well, but I feel like um, Rose's mask is just a bit more wearable when intense mask is like, I would say a nighttime version of it or 
yeah, it's just a little bit stronger with a punch, okay? So that's kind of a difference, but um, unfortunately, I don't have both. I believe I have just the intense eraser mask, and I enjoy it. So I hope that it was helpful. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm not quite sure if you already um, heard me you know, talking about the term already. I'll be waiting for your comments, finding place for this one. Oh, actually, let's put it to Razor Guard, the one from the collection that I already have. Shall we talk about it? I'm kind of, I'm kind, I kind of want to. I will. Rosa Goth, not your typical rose perfume. If you want to raise this and you think you've smelled it all, oh my God, this smells so sharp. Like rose oxide is definitely in there. It smells like a rose knife. It smells like rose metal. It smells very metallic and clean and sharp. And so beautiful like this fragrance is a really really mineral and just like bold and sharp and if I want to like have like I want a powerful perfume I want rose but I want it to be like badass rose not your gentle flower from the garden that's what I would be uh, wearing so good the one from the collection hope you hope you enjoy finding out about his perfumes and hello james hello everyone who has just joined or you know who's new here welcome and excited guys to see you um good afternoon from the usa pennsylvania oh my god pennsylvania is watching this is actually so exciting to me because uh yeah i've just like okay off topic but this is kind of like what we are doing here rambling not just about perfumes but other stuff too actually let's do so while opening perfumes i have another fragrance right here and it is by the brand isabai isabai not quite sure uh feel free to correct me in the contrast section anyway this fragrance print de moi that is translated as stick me very very um erotic uh, is so good, like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy that you finally have it in my collection, you can't even imagine. Anyway, um, I wanted to ramble a little bit. I watched um, the video about Jeff Kennedy's death yesterday, it's so, like, random, and I was like, dang, I don't know, like, know anything about him except that that was a US president and like an American president who was also like very handsome and loved by people and obviously like lover of Marilyn Monroe, although like it's not that, I don't know if it's official, but probably they were lovers. And then like anytime I watched a documentary about her, her life and her death, I felt really dumb, just not depressed, but like it, it, it has always had like impact on me the first time i watched it i was like i don't know young maybe like 10 or 11 in ukraine and it was like you know this whole documentary with a theory that she was murdered blah 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 and i was just like fascinated by it because like marilyn monroe is such a stunning like lady like she is like an icon absolutely love her like very very tragic um life story but nonetheless and, you know, there is like a theory that she was murdered by Kennedys, whatever, you know. And then, I've never, like, as I've said, I've never known anything about his death. I just knew that he was shot, right? And there was like a YouTube video popped on my recommendations. I just clicked on it. And when I saw how he was murdered, like, such a nasty way, like, I mean, I don't know what kind of person he has been, but like, it's like this I don't know, it's just like with Marilyn Monroe and her death, anytime I've watched a video about it, I've been thinking about it for days, you know? So yeah, when I watched that and like, you know, there was actual footage of the moment, I just like, dang, like being in the car with his wife, getting to Dallas just to, you know, increase his, um, yeah, like popularity among the uh, state because he was not that popular there, right? It was the mission and he was so happy and people crowded on the streets greeting him and then apparently like some whatever communist uh, shoot him down. Like, I don't know, the whole story is so weird to me. Like, 
Way back in the days, the whole security was not as um, you know, strict, although that was his instruction not to be in the same car with him because he wanted to be uh, as close to people uh, as possible, but like that played a bad joke on him. And another thing that kept me wondering if, if, if like that story is true, but we, of course, it's not really true because what is true, like, right? yeah, Lee Harvey Oswald, exactly. So, um, like that person, right? Like he, I believe he is one of the um, ex-soldiers, whatever, I, I might be wrong. And he was just like, like the distance, it was not easy to shoot someone down from that distance. It was not like very close. Um, he was alone, apparently, like, we don't know, right? But like, apparently, like, that's like the official uh, story. And from the sixth or eighth floor, and like there was one shot and he actually got him like right away on, in the neck. And the second or the third one in the head, like that was so fast. And from such a distance, not being a professional killer with all that, like I just, like, I was trying to imagine the feeling of, of that person, like being like, you know, there, there's so much going on and like I'm there to, you know, do this horrible thing. And it's just like difficult with all that pressure, right? And just to bam, bang, like, like it seems like, I don't know, it's, it's not really like a very believable story for me personally. I don't know. And then also what's weird, like, Obviously, this is one of the most mysterious murders of the century. Blah, blah, and no one will ever, well, never, never, but probably uh, won't tell us the truth. But the, the thing is, I kept just thinking, okay, they found the guy literally a few hours after the tragedy. And because, like, uh, there was, like, a photo robot uh, made by people, you know, by, by um, those who have seen it. And I was like what how could they be sure okay he killed the policeman okay so that made him suspicious right but like then he was killed like shoot down by another person that died shortly after because of cancer cancer because like from that point the, the the story is getting very like okay i'm not a professional whatever like a detective but like it seems like very very like not believable at all. And I was like wondering, are these murders kind of connect? Probably not, because Marilyn Monroe, whatever, like she was Marilyn Monroe, right? But like, I don't know, maybe karma exists, because if she was killed by their instructions, and then he was, but like both, like she was killed silently, but probably um, uh, violently. Maybe I don't know, um, and then he and in such a bad way, like such a bad way. Oh my goodness! Like when I like, and there was like his wife right next to him. Like this is very traumatizing. Like this is intense, and the the weirdest part for me is not even that that uh, Lee and Jack the murders, you know, were killed. So there are no, I think like, there is no one who could, who could actually tell the truth, you know, under the um, process. But uh, the weird thing is how well he should, like, not be a professional killer, as I've said. I don't know. Like, how is it even possible? Like, lucky? Or bad luck of the president? Or there is a theory that he was crossing, you know, like, this, this cross theory that every president elected in the, um, how do you say, O's, um, got killed. And I don't know, it's just a weird story, but I kept thinking about it, kept thinking about it. And it would be really nice to know who, who actually gave that instruction to kill the president and why. Because I believe his brother, his older brother, was also in the politics, right? And there was like a theory, a rumor that he was not a lover of Marilyn Monroe. And I don't know, just the whole story is so mysterious and just like nasty. I and stuff like that always like interests people, 
which is weird, but even I caught myself being really interested in this story. But dang, oh my gosh, like the way he was killed is pretty brutal because it was so public. And also so like, oh, they really like, there, there was no miss shot, which is bad for the president. And that, that, that I don't know, I'm just wondering who could have benefited from this, because this is like a president of the United States who ruled the country during very, very roller coaster time in history. So it's not it's not like that, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe that was a like a smart decision, whoever made it, but like it, it was was risky for sure. I don't know why. Like who could could who could benefit from it? Because like the theory that this Lee person, Lee guy who was apparently a communist and he lived in the Soviet Union, then he got back and just hated the president and killed him. Um, it's just like, what? Like, seriously, he shot him right away? I don't know, I don't know. And it's like, probably like the secret, you know, the CIA and FBI, probably they should have done that, right? Uh, like, maybe that was actually in their, in their, Mm, benefit not to stop him. Maybe they knew, but they did. I didn't. I, I have so many questions. Stuff like that is really interesting because I don't know. For me, it's very interesting. Anyway, I hope that there is still someone around, although I've rambled for actually, 20 minutes. Uh, holes in a lot of stories for sure, both historical and modern. A great deal of research on the subject if uh, you're willing to look into it. Yes, very interesting, but like, I don't feel good after the story. Like, when I saw that footage, I mean, like, I don't know, I felt very bad. Let's feel better, though, with perfume, something erotic. Oh, oh no, oh, thank God, it didn't break. Again, I was wondering what was, like, wrong in the box, so it actually fell off but it's still really nice. Mm, dirty though. They clean it on my trousers. Professional way here. Actually, I have this amazing thing from Matt. The culture, how do you call it? So, thank you, Matt. You're amazing. You know, Matt got me a message on WhatsApp. Very, very practical. Anyway, Prendy Moi, take me. Let's, let's smell it again. Oh, yes, like, mmm, powdery, a little bit Swedish, very erotic fragrance. Someone, um, something like Marilyn Monroe could wear to, you know, a party in Hollywood for sure, definitely. Yeah, that's like a perfect description for this perfume. Marilyn Monroe uh, party fragrance, although I believe she has been wearing Chanel number no. 5. But I think only because it used to be so hype, you guys. I don't think like, um, like I don't know. For me, Chanel Number no. Five is a uh, bitchy, very strict, very formal type of the fragrance. <laughs> Let me know if you agree or disagree. And Marilyn Monroe has never been like that. I don't know if she was in real life. But even when I look at her, she doesn't have like this bitchiness to her. She just so lovely and poor, poor, poor lady, but so lovely. So yeah, this is something for her. Romantic, erotic, you look at her and it's just like sex, but not in an aggressive or, you know, um, you know, like any malic way. She was just like sexy, but, but very classy. So uh, this is random, but I was recently introduced to poesy because of your channel, yes! I was actually thinking about this brand uh, recently. Amazing. I'm really into uh, roll-on um, like perfume oils. So just in case you have a favorite brand um, that creates fragrances in that style. Because, like, listen, there is this one that actually got me onto it called um, Lux Odor. I've already shared with you, like, I had, like, a massive, huge unboxing recently on my channel. And uh, I've um, shown you these fragrances. So these are basically roll-ons, right? Like this. 
and um, they are inspired by you know, some popular fragrances out there and Aventus cologne is so good like I applied a lot of it on Benny's clothing he messaged me from work asking what it is because he, his co-workers loved it. Anyway, if you know brands that create fragrances in roll-on oil format, please comment. Please let me know. I want to experience more of them. Uh, the camera only shows one side of person. Oh, God, gosh, I thought you were talking about my camera because I realized at the beginning of the stream I was like cut off my hat. Um, my favorites are Marlowe and Lavery Ghost. I don't think I have those, but they have a phenomenal vanilla tea scent. So good, like way too good to be true. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Kind of like Marilyn's Monroe Fancy Perfume. Let's open the US packaging. I got it uh, today. It was such a hassle with the DHL. Um, Okay, so this is going to be more challenging to open, but I hope, okay, <laughs> not that easy, but on the live stream it's okay to do so, when I'm filming this video, not live, a little bit more challenging. So anyone who has just joined, hello, I'm trying to open a new US box that came in the mail for today and feel free to thumbs up the video guys there are still not enough thumbs up and they really help you know just to my for my videos to get out there be suggestive to other of my subscribers and you guys go ahead let's chat Ugh. do you like to like would you prefer to um order a perfume online or um, to go to the shop and buy it right away and not wait because I feel like there is an advantage and disadvantage to both because on the one side you can like enjoy your fragrance right away you know like you already have it you don't have to wait you can enjoy it straight up but on the other side I like the like this feeling when you're waiting for it, when you're picturing, wearing it, opening it, that's amazing. So what I have here is absolutely fantastic because this is infants to birth and this is um, by Anthony Marmon. He has such a great uh, brand uh, from the Middle East, Dubai, uh, that creates I will show you awesome fragrances. I have quite a collection. I have quite a collection. Oh my god. Oh, okay. This is so beautiful. Check it out. Just check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this is a perfume oil that I was talking about previously, right? So this one, Gonge. Gonzu, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Here is how it looks, absolutely adorable. I believe it was inspired by um, Asia. So let's just hit over on his official website. Find this fragrance because I believe it has like um, a really lovely story. And um, I will read it to you. So it says that uh, somewhere in the Middle Kingdom, a beautiful Chinese princess called Xiang is getting married on summer day. The lotus month, which is the sixth month of Chinese lunar calendar, um, Xiang's blooming appearance inspired her parents to give her this fragrant name. Looking more beautiful as ever, Xiang is all dressed in traditional garments. Emerging from her chambers, she walks calmly towards the Home, meeting the eyes of the guests and her loving soon-to-be groom. So 
This is a very lovely story, and this dreamy fragrance was inspired by the beauty of the long living culture of China and its entire eye catching visual arts. The lotus flower represents the sixth month of the year in the Chinese calendar, and uh, Gongzhu means princess in Mandarin. The lotus flower is a symbol of beauty to the Chinese people. So, this is a very, very a lovely story. The juice color is so dark, it is impressive. But it's pretty runny, which is nice. So um, the way you would apply this is just a little bit on your fingertips. Uh, I will put just two drops. So I have already some you know, stuff going on. Then you can lightly rub, just like tap, tap, tap together. And then you can put a little bit behind your ears, on your hair, uh, all over your clothes. But be careful because it's an oil. And this smells so, oh my god, like I don't know, it smells oudish. But fresh, smells of pine, smells of purity, very lovely fragrance. Definitely like a very beautiful way of applying perfume. Um, there is an excitement traveling to make the purchase. You don't get that waiting for a package, but that can be also exciting, it is. Um, Baba, hello, uh, thank you. Um, you're Larry, his first the parfum, 69, but I love that perfume. And I adore the bitter chocolate with peach. You smell amazing. With Frank Olivier, Oud Vanille. I don't know that one. How is it? Um, I am well. Thank you so much for your message. Like, guys, your comment made me happy. If you're a subscriber, made me happy. So, yeah, that's one of the oils. Uh, we have a few more. So, let's actually open all of them. Why not? Oh, this is Salamah. Salama, very different color. Just look at it. Okay, you want to compare both? This is almost black and this is like milky. So um looks very, very nice. And I believe it's another floral fragrance, if I'm not wrong. So let's just smell it together. Oh yeah, this is so powdery and just like it smells of innocence. It smells of a uh, very like wild flowers, okay? Just need to put it back. So everything in place. Nothing. Ow! Ah, I just hurt myself. Okay, so this is oh this is so good. It smells clean. If someone loves clean perfumes, this is the one for you. It smells really clean. It smells of wild flowers, of a matter of white flowers, so nice, but also powdery, you know, it's not like the simple opening my hair to apply to massage it into my scalp, scalp, oh yeah, such a peaceful scent, I wish, I wish it was warm enough to go out and, you know, just play on, or just like have a picnic on a meadow. Have I smelled any nice man's fragrances lately? Ooh, you made a great pattern with them going out fragrances. Okay, so uh, James, what do you think? Would it be nice? Oh, thank you for your hearts, guys. Nice idea to because on Buy Me Coffee website now I can release some content. So this is a platform that James actually introduced me to, and you can donate. You know, just to support my channel. If you appreciate the content, feel free to do so. The link is uh, pinned. Um, right in the comment section, but I could uh, put out videos there for subscription, like maybe um, one monthly video where I need to think about concept, you are actually invited to share your thoughts and ideas with me, um, and just get uh, some extra content for you there that you would vote for, so um, James asked specifically maybe for, you know, like, um, updated best uh, men's fragrances, I can get it out for you. Let me know how that um, sounds to you. Um, I don't know, maybe that would be fun. Now, I didn't know you could do that on the site. Yes, they really upgraded the, the, the features. So maybe that would be something you guys would consider, right? Because like, it's very, very difficult for me right now. Like, I, I could really use some you know, financial uh, support. Um, nice fragrances for men, not new, 
what is small you was not like and I'm wondering do you want designer like do you ne do you necessarily want a designer fragrance James because like if you pay just a bit more you would get like such better performing niche perfume that would say smell more masculine like should it be necessarily a designer fragrance let me know because I haven't smelled lots of designers, but I plan to go to Darmstadt tom tomorrow, you know, for, for, for the demo. And afterwards, I will hit to Douglas, smell the perfumes, and maybe put that video together. Um, or just message me tomorrow on Instagram, and I will just let you know. Because at the moment, like, nice... N no, no, I don't know. I uh, saw that Explorer has a new flanker, so that's something exciting. But other than that, I don't think there have been like some new men's launches. What do you think, guys? What are some of the most nostalgic smells? Mine are lilacs in spring, tree sap from broken branches, my dad's wood shop, and bowling maple syrup my family makes it homemade. Oh, that's so delicious. Um, I wish I tried it. Um, well, um, nostalgic smells to me would be, um, this might be weird and abstract, but the um, spring or summer air. And it's not in German because it differs from Ukrainian. However, it's weird, but in Milan, anytime I am there, I go on the fresh air, just landed or, you know, came to the city and it smells in Italy, especially in Milan, similarly to Ukraine. In Germany, the air is different. So that I love a lot. Something else maybe is actually mint, um, you know, freshly picked mint, um, peppermint, because my grandma used to plant it in her garden, which she probably still does in Ukraine. And I, I just loved milk, mint since my childhood. Like, I've been obsessed with mint. And um, um, what I did, because I love it so much, I actually took it, like, you know, just picked, how do you say it? Like, James, how do you say it? <laughs> I hope you, you got me. Mm, anyway, I'm opening Yasmin. Uh, this is the third and the last one from... Uh, um, Mason, Anthony Marmon, mm, it's probably going to be Jasmine, so I have like a trilogy of very beautiful floral fragrances. Uh, and I put it in my nose because I love it so much and I couldn't get enough. So that's a little bit nostalgic to me, but not like in a very bad way. Something else, oh my god, I don't know. Uh, not a nice, um, uh, okay, so this is for the lovers of uh, opulent narcotic jasmine scents. This is like for those who can't get enough of jasmine. This smells like so. Okay, this smells just goes on my hand like this. Let's let's scent it. So not a nice scented memory or not, not necessarily a bad memory, but like anytime I get that scent, I'm like, ugh. Uh, it's, um, you know, in Ukraine, um, children can eat in the kindergarten, probably a thing in other countries too, but um, there we have like, um, how do you call it, oh my god, like cafeteria, but like for, kid, for children. Um, and uh, yeah, the food there is not always delicious and it is cooked in like big, um, like a lot of it, right? And cooked or whatever, fried or just like cabbage. Ugh don't like it so anytime it's it tastes okay but like the scent of it will be stinky um so maybe that's enough um in malaysia some people love smell eastern fragrances and some love the western fragrances but i noticed that most people here orders the western ones especially in designer like this is the one reminder okay Okay, interesting. Do you have like Asian fragrances? Like, do you have like lots of Asian brands there? Let me know, that would be interesting to know. Um, Baba says that uh, I grew up with a plum, plum tree. 
Although my grandma also had a plum tree, I don't remember how the blossom smells. Um, in my backyard, the smell of plums makes me so happy. Wow, yeah, true. And plum and perfume always add something like oh, bright and delicious. Uh, James, I will have to think of the clip idea for you. Maybe something for summer and men's hot weather for years. Okay, think about it. Let me know and I will film it for you. Um, especially when designer brand launch new fragrance, for example, in Saint Laurent with their Livre La Parfum, uh, selling fragrance here. Yeah, well, it's a bestseller everywhere, I guess. So, no wonders, no wonders. Um, okay, so we are done with the oils, but we are not done with the unboxing. Okay, I will say the upcoming, literally like brand new um, fragrances by Gallagher. But I'm not even released yet, so this is going to be a sneak peek for you. Very exclusive, guys. Definitely thumbs up the video for that um, till the end. But we have another fragrance here. I told you it's going to be ah, massive and hopefully fun. Let me know if you enjoy watching these unbox. Do you like these unboxing videos? Are they all over the place, or is it like the entertaining part of them? Please let me know, guys. I would love to know. Like, all your feedback. Anytime I ask you a question, it's because I'm sincerely interested in your... Oh, my God. Okay, this is actually mind-blowing. Okay, so this is crazy. And this is so good. Oh, my goodness. Do you see it? Can you see it? I will show you. So good. Oh my god. Okay, so this is by the brand J U S. And I have a fragrance from them. Hold on. It's like this neon bright green fragrance that smells of juicy, fruity rose. A little bit green, very summery, absolutely uplifting. And they have something new. They have some samples. I love when brands include samples. I just love that strip fluff. What do you think about the name strip fluff? Mm -hmm. I find it funny. And I have here Spicy Delice and I have here Bloom Astral and Sexy Crush. Okay, this is quite a cool name. But the most exciting thing, oh, have more samples. Ah, okay, I will have some fun after the unboxing, but we won't be going into the samples right now unless you want me to. Oh my God. Okay, so I got it out. I got it out. Now we need to open it. Um, you like chaotic uh, unboxings? Okay, that's good. That's that's good. Oh, thank you so much, Baba. It's so nice to hear from you. I wish there were more lovely comments like that. So, guys, go ahead, make me happy. Uh, so, what's very cool about this brand is that um, they are doing quite a unique thing. Not many brands are doing that. I will show you. Hold on. Okay, ready? Ready? Hope I won't drop it. But I could. This is so nice. Okay, so uh, the fragrance that I have is Andalusia. And Andalusia is special. Okay, I wanted to show you that cool thing they've been doing, but maybe they're not doing it. They actually put the exact materials on the box, but I can't find it, so I need to search for it. Um, however, Andalusia is this, um, I believe it's a new fragrance, but I might be wrong. Let me actually double check it before I say something wrong. Um, Right, so it was launched uh, last year. It's, you know, semi-new. I believe they have newer fragrances that I have sampled of. 
but um, this is still quite medium. Oh, just twist it a little bit too much. Um, let's see, yeah, let's spray it and then I will tell you. Such a nice sprayer. Okay, so what's special about it? If you like, um, like woody amber perfumes, if you like something, let's say, um, okay, I don't want to compare it to the fragrance I'm not the biggest fan of, such as um, Erba Pura, but um, okay, I don't, I don't know. There is like this very modern um, ambery accord in there. It's in many uh, modern fragrances these days. It smells very modern. It smells kind of clean and dirty at the same time. So it's not like that, you know, um, heavy vanilla, labdanum, tonka bean, um, amber from, you know, the last century. It's not like that. It smells of this you know, like woolly amber, but guys, although we have that in the bottom, on the top we have the most mouthwatery, the most like explosive, the most delicious uh, note of pomegranate. And pomegranate, like this is an underrated, uh, very fruity note in perfume, in my opinion. This is the note that um, should be used and featured in fragrances way more often. Because it just adds so much like brightness, so much of this like juiciness, playfulness, and just like I feel tingle to the fragrance, you know, like it's not your typical fruit. So, oh, I just love this fragrance for that. It smells like a candy, but like in a perfume way without being sweet, which is very interesting. There's actually a note of milk in there too, and that's exciting because the fragrance for me is more like juicy it's not milky so this is a very special fragrance very nice if you love uh, pomegranate if you are looking for fragrances with it then um, I highly recommend you to give it a try because it's like something very yeah particular oh I just love it I want to spray more but we have two more fragrances to unbox and then we'll call it a day and uh, yeah, I will just put it on the shelf right here. This looks so nice. It definitely deserves to be in the front row. Guys, I need to figure out how I can display more fragrances here because you know it's a little bit it's a little bit crowded here, but yeah, I can't can't help it. So many perfumes. I want to show all of them in a way. Okay. Sorry, but I need to reorganize slowly. Really quick. Let's do that. Like that. Ta-da! Okay, so are you ready? Who of you knows and loves Delica fragrances? I do. Do you know why? Because this is an Indian brand that combines quality, artistry, and performance all in one. Pomegranate always reminds me of winter because that's when they are imported to the USA. <laughs> true, true, true fact. In Ukraine, actually, we also uh, used to have it uh, in the winter. But funny enough, in Germany, they are available almost all year round. So, yeah, okay, guys, the last package, the last package from Daniel and Mindy Gallagher, because now they have a second friend, and his wife, Mindy, is a creative director for it. It's called Pearlescent, and it's awesome. <gasps> okay, okay, with the warmest regards, Daniel and Mindy, mm -mm -mm, you guys, here it is. So, so there are two new releases and they're not officially launched yet so I won't show you the packaging I won't tell you the name and uh, yeah I won't tell you anything <laughs> I will be just uh, smelling it for myself so hope you don't mind you 
can ask me questions if you want. <gasps> Let's check the nails. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait to smell it. I think it's gonna be my favorite from the collection, although they have baklava. Are you familiar with uh, pearlescent perfumes and Galica fragrances? They are from the USA, Texas, actually, which we were always talking about today. You guys, if you are not familiar with this brand, I am sure if you buy one bottle, you'll be hooked. Okay, oh my god. Ah! Where should I spray? Where should I spray? I think I will spray. Matt's Datura is so strong. This is the fragrance I smell most of all these. I think it's going to be strong too. And you should over spray these for, you know, all the pleasure. Looking. My God, Daniel is telling it. Can't wait to review these for you. Can't wait to review these for you. This is their fifth fragrance, and I think it's my favorite. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I actually now like pearlescent more than Galica fragrances. Kind of. I don't know. I like Galica a lot, but I. I kind of feel Mindy's feminine touch on, um, you know, pearlescent, and I just appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so let's spray this on. This is the newest Gallagher. Oh, wow! Okay, this is not what I expected at all. Wow, okay, this is very different from Daniel. Very, very different. This is actually very interesting. Okay, this is extremely interesting. <laughs> kind of more into pearlescent, but still. This is very interesting. It's called Oh Hello. There is something clean and dirty at the same time. Can't wait to play more with all of these guys new fragrances how many did we have in total did someone keep count um let's let's um sum it up one from matt malek which is this opulent sensual like hypnotizing datura flower mixed with particular ginger incense and extremely high quality natural sandalwood Still probably the strongest out of all these, and I love it because I'm into bold florals. Then we had another Datura perfume, a more French style, but with this very playful gourmand touch by um, Monash, created by Patrice. Um, then we had some perfume oils by Anthony Marvin. The jasmine one is my favorite because it smells of real flowers very very um, alluring um, then what did we have oh yeah for sure this great fragrance Andalusia from JUS oh I just I, I I think this is what I'll be wearing all summer long yeah that's it then the erotic fragrance of Marilyn Monroe's parties as I call it Prend Moi by Isabey. Boudoir lipstick style of perfume. Finally, it's in my collection because I've been, I've been wanting to add it, um, you know, to my fragrance wardrobe for a long time. Then we have like this um, wild, dirty, dark, woody, um, but also weirdly sweetened uh, incense perfume from the new you. Ram Dotto, designed by Pound Touch Renzi. Not my style of fragrance, um, but very powerful. Definitely in their style. What else did we have? Is that all or not, guys? Probably there was something else. No, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. But of course, two new releases. There is Pearlescent, there is Gallagher. Stay tuned for my reviews on both of them. Let me know if you would like to see. Yeah. 
uh, what 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 I you know, think about those as I wear them more often because you know you got huge unboxing um, random rambles from me what I've been into this month um, I still can't believe I've been I've been in Italy uh, in the beginning of April like it's crazy long month it was my birthday last week this week actually on Tuesday yeah that's right and it was quite a lovely day quite unexpected um, but 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 nice um, what else would happen in April um, I don't know just like lots of different things um, the spring is still not here but I hope it will it will it should it's almost already summer so very cold year but yeah some fragrances keep me warm um, okay I will read your comments now Mm, you might have mentioned this at some point. Uh, I've been watching you for a month so far. Oh, thank you so much, Blue Radiance. Uh, but where does your love of fragrance come from? Do any other people in your family love fragrance? So, mm, of course, I've already mentioned it in my channel, but there is no problem for me to repeat uh, the story. Um, I basically discovered this love of the perfumes in me when I was three or four years old because my mom had a perfume collection and I used to play with it creating kind of like a new fragrance mixing them together it was my perfume game and I just loved when she got me perfumes I started you know getting fragrances myself when I was like um, in high school and before that I was just using hers not like using, wearing them, but I was just like smelling them and playing with them. And then I ended up with them on me, right? Um, I also really enjoyed to go to my uh, friends' houses and smelling their parents' collections. Um, then I started going to perfume shops when I was a teenager. <laughs> it was so weird. I was like, you know, just in a perfume shop, luxurious shop smelling perfumes. And my mom used to work in one of them, and um, I got into niche. Um, what an early age, I would say, when the niche started being a little bit more um, expanded to mass public, and it, it was still very niche. It was like 2006, five, so not the beginning of niche, but still like pretty much in the beginning. Uh, in Germany, niche started being like more visible on the market only a few years ago, literally two to three years ago. Niche brands started to hit German market. In Ukraine, that started like 2005, 6-ish. And I remember my first ever niche perfume, if I'm not wrong, that was Juliette with the guns and Miss Charming. And it's crazy good. Like, I need it. I really need it. I just need it to... To, yeah, to have it for, for that sake. Um, and yeah, like I've been always obsessed with fragrances, like, you know, just smelling mint in my grandma's garden or um, when I received lily flowers for my birthday. I still have them from, you know, my birthday uh, this year, but they are hardcore, not for everyone, but I adore them. So what else? I don't know. I've just like literally since I was three, I loved smelling. And then of course, like, um, yeah, it's another story how uh, how it led to my perfume channel. Actually, um, it was not the first thing I wanted to do. I um, was obsessed with watching YouTube videos, and at some point I was like, I need to produce them myself because it's getting a ridiculous obsession. But I quickly realized that with the German uh, beauty market, which was almost uh, not existing at that point, we didn't even have Sephora and friends from uh, Douglas was like Guerlain, it's not wrong and stuff like that, but not like this trendy thing that was going on in the beauty community at that point. So I gave up on that. The drugstore is still like um, not that developed in Germany. And I was like, I love perfumes so much. And by that, like by that time, I have literally like six fragrances in my collection. I'm not kidding you. Like you can watch like the earliest videos on my channel. I have like literally like up to ten fragrances behind me. And I thought, I thought like literally like I know this is such a naive thing, but I swear to you, I never swear. But that was like my 
I thought it's a genius idea because I have never seen a single fragrance video on YouTube because I was just mainly into beauty community. So I sincerely thought I will be the first one who would film about perfumes. And I thought, okay, I will be so successful. And the first like 10, 20, I don't know how many videos I filmed, I have never watched a perfume video before. It's, it, I believe it's only after my first six songs when I um, realized that there are other people, there's actually a fragrance community and it has been around for, for a while. <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, that's my passion and I hope it shows through and I hope you enjoy watching my videos. Maybe I'm not as entertaining, um, not as, you know, um, talented on um, editing and stuff, but um, I try to improve myself. So thank you so much for being here with me. All this time, if you're here for the first time, you can subscribe, you can give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't remember to do so um, on every video of mine. Um, you should be aware that it actually helps to get content out there. So I'm always wondering if it's me and my personality that people don't want to give a thumbs up on or it's because people don't know it's actually necessary to do so. Um, yeah, there are obviously other ways to support me, but I've already spoken about them um, in this video several times, so I don't want to repeat myself. And um, if you have any questions, if you have any um, ideas for, you know, videos you want to see on my channel, maybe perfumes that you see on the back and you're interested in them, or whatever it might be, I'm always open to your feedback, your, you know, just um, thoughts that I am always happy to hear. Um, drop me comments. Um, what else? I just need to, you know, do something with my studio. I have lots of bottles sitting everywhere. I have boxes that I need to throw away and I don't want to because they look pretty, but I actually have no uh, space storage for them. Oh, there was so much to work on in my studio, so I better go. Um, hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. If you want to see more unboxings, please tell me. It would be a really nice. It would be really, really nice to hear from you guys. Because if you have any, any actually maybe tips for me, like recommendations, how I could um, motivate people to support me financially on Buy Me Coffee platform or maybe here with super likes, super chat, super, you know, uh, thing that YouTube has, please tell me because I'm trying to figure, uh, like, to figure out the way how to do so because, you know, I'm seeing lots of channels doing so and it's, it's very important to have, like, that um, subscriptions, like, support. Um, I should definitely film more exciting videos, so I would really appreciate if you could share with me some content ideas, like what you are interested in, me talking about popular perfumes or talking about new stuff or whatever, like maybe you have a very particular idea, go ahead, drop it below. Um, you were kidding about mega unboxing, kidding, no, I, w I weren't kidding. Uh, what was the name of the incense perfume? I love incense. Oh, incense. Today's incense. It was um, the Tour of Flower by Matt Malik. Let me uh, send you the link. It's actually very, very nice. The strongest one today. I can smell the best out of all I've sprayed on myself today. Come on. Okay, this is the link. Um, happy birthday. Thank you, Donny. Um, of course, it might, it's my pleasure. Oh, Twitch. Actually, Benny suggested me to join Twitch like years ago. Huh. Okay, 
you think it, it's it's a good idea? I've never been on the platform. I have no idea what's about. Is it good? I should have a look. I guess. Okay, guys. So I see there are no questions left. So I I guess that, that that's all for today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. You know, sometimes it's fun to watch these unboxings. And I hope you enjoyed mine. I actually have like um, another one, but um, I filmed a shorts with it. So you can check it out. And yes. Have a good one. Stay tuned. Please subscribe, guys. That would be so nice of you, really. Like, I would be really happy to see more people subscribing, joining my channel, leaving comments, all that. Um, and yeah, also on my Instagram, I post content there too. And yes, oh. I forgot, I have a new fragrance, but I've already opened it yesterday. Maybe I should have waited for today, but in the shop, Zara's fragrance smelled like lost cherry, and when I came home, it smelled like cheap shower gel. Ah, but I shall talk about it in another video. Have a great weekend, guys. I hope spring is there where you are, and um, yeah, I had fun today. Hope you did so too. Bye-bye.